Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and yes, Grixis is still good. Uh, a lot of new cards can't really change that because of what's been printed, but we can embrace it and try out some new cards in a sweet shell to see if they can make Grixis even better. And that's what we're doing today with Kaito, the Dancing Shadow. Just kind of a little tip for building new decks. A lot of people ask me about building new decks. Um, here, I'll tell you a lot about how I tend to build decks and try new cards. Too many new cards into one deck is usually a bad idea, unless it's a super synergy driven deck like the green white and green blue infect decks that have taken off, right? Or the green black proli or the blue black proliferate deck. You know, that's another thing where it's like we need a massive amount of these cards. The mechanic is in the new set. We need a whole bunch of new cards in this deck. Totally normal, happens all the time. But what a lot of people also try to do is cram a whole bunch of new cards into existing decks, cutting already good improving cards, and then they're surprised when the deck doesn't work, and then they pronounce their cards that they added bad. That isn't exactly how you should be doing it. Quite honestly, it makes a lot of sense if you wanna get a real test for a good card, is to put it in a good shell surrounded by other cards that are very well proven, and let it do its thing, and see how it affects the board in situations like that. That. You can build out other cards and synergies around if you want to, but you should not put too many new cards into a deck if you want to win. Take your time with it. Uh, and of course, this doesn't apply once again to those synergy driven decks. So we've got Grixis with mostly cards you know and hate or love, and we've got Kaito the Dancing Shadow. What I love most about Kaito the Dancing Shadow is the ability along the top that says whenever one or more creatures deal combat damage to a player, you may return one of them to the owner's hand. If you do, you can activate loyalty abilities of Kaito twice this turn rather than once. The plus one nukes a creature until your next turn. It can't attack or block. The zero draws, which is always good. The minus two makes a 2-2 two, two colorless drone artifact creature token with death touch. Good to know. And whenever this creature leaves the battlefield, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. A very sweet little creature there on the minus two. So when I think about Kaito and Grixis, what I think about most is returning a corpse of appraiser back to my hand and casting it again that ability is so powerful the card advantage and ability to get through your deck and find exactly what you need is so good so the ability to use it over and over is very strong what i also think about with kaito in this deck is closing speed the opponent can play some big creatures but kaito keeps them from blocking so you get more damage in and the minus two making that drone that drone it's when it leaves the battlefield not when it dies so if they do anything to that drone they gonna lose two, you gonna gain two, and their creature that interacted with it, if it's blocking or being blocked, is gonna die from death touch. So it's actually a much better effect than you think. The other new card I have in the deck is Shildred's Edict, which we've seen in a few decks by now, and the rest of the cards are just very good Grixis cards made to completely destroy our opponent. Over here, I have some cards that almost made the cut. Uh, I don't know if I'll always put them over here, but I really love the idea of Blade Coil Serpent bouncing that Back to hand and getting cast again but it didn't quite make it and then uh this was a kaito theme deck so you're gonna see multiple games where i play a bunch of kaitos instead of fable of the mirror breaker eventually i saw the error of my ways and fable had to join the, the it, it's just it's fable it's too good but i was trying kaito in that spot also if you're looking for cards to slot in for cards you haven't crafted this is a very good place to start this little sideboard over here but be careful if you hit the craft all button you might craft one of these that you didn't mean to all right enjoy the grixis and i am recording for my philly trip so no outro so i'm going to tell you that you're cool you are cool and now let's dive in let the kaito dancing shadow nonsense begin we are on the play with two lands none of them are blue but we have bank busters we'll figure it out if the opponent doesn't play thalia and we don't miss land drops everything's fine the lounge huh okay let's just drop a buster virus beetle well if it, bank buster is a heck of a counter to that but i don't think i need two We could just pressure the discard deck, play Harvester and swing. If they're going to do a bunch of beetle stuff, right? And just want to hurt them. Mm. 
No, no, no. I clicked this one. Arena. Would you like to trade that beetle for four health? Nope. Interesting, interesting. I'm going to guess that their plan is to play a lot of these discard effects and then play a shieldred. So I'm probably going to cling to my go for the throats with all my might. Speaking of go for the throat. Hello? Well, that can probably find a land drop. So did they plan to block here? They are going to block. Get out of here, beetle. We might do the mythical get back your corpse appraiser right here. Oh, it depends, right? Are they going to eat the beetle? Don't eat the beetle. Don't touch that beetle. That was supposed to be my beetle. Okay. Lame. Need a land for that. So Kaito can come out. Make a drone, probably. The plusing we'd have to pay ward for, which sucks. Drawing is nice. We could do that. I think we keep attacking the opponent. Actually, let's play Kaito first. Maybe we bounce the bank buster. Get double activation. So this is my opponent. I'm not impressed. All right, bounce the bank buster. Yay or nay? If we do, we get to draw a card now at the cost of two mana later. I'm going to decline. Let's just make the drone. Let's show these scrap heads what real tech can do. The drone is really good. When it leaves the battlefield for any loot reason they lose two, we gain two. Okay, I thought it was invoked to spare time. It's not. Love to see that. What? 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 If you do, each opponent discards a card. Okay. I, I discard. Braid's Frightful Return. Need a land. Can has land is for me. Thank you. I got fresh Never didn't have it. Actually, ah, oh, they're at 11. I was going to say, let's bounce the Corpse Appraiser and do that uh, fun thing with Kaido and get an extra activation, but nah. Let's just bounce the drone, drain him for two, and then we can draw another card. Feel the power. Go ahead, make me discard. I dare you. Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, they skip ahead to chapter three. What is this? Sacrifice a non-land, non-token permanent. If you decline, you lose two life and the opponent draws a card. And eh? Has another? Looks fun. So can they remove the buster is going to be the question. Let's find out. Coming at ya. This Buster's dealt so much damage this game. Edict. Uh, you. I appears I chose wisely. Nice. We go second with no removal against Lucky Charms. Um, this could go badly, but the mana is good, so I'm keeping. I'm very nervous that my hand will do nothing, so please, opponent, go nice and slow. Be, be good to me. Nice and slow. Yes, just like this. Just like this. This is fine. You don't need to cast spells. You don't need to play anything. Yeah, the, the one drop on turn three is is fine. 
All right. Hit it with the edict or get the Kaito going. Let's get the Kaito going. Stay on curve. I do have a feeling they'll kill the ninja. Maybe I'm not supposed to make the ninja. I think they'll kill the ninja. Let's dig for more removal. That's a pretty good card. Don't need two busters. There's another creature. There's an oil counter. All right, their deck is actually starting to roll, but we know they must have a lot of very good four drops in hand, and I think they have a Kami Flare. Hmm. Hello. I didn't see that coming, but that's why you're in the deck. That looks like it'll cause them some stress. There's Lana and Elena. Do you like plus one, plus one counters? Because here comes a lot of them. Goes after Kaido. Hmm. Well, we can't kill everything next turn. Yep, Kaido, you got to take this one for the team. Cut down would be really nice here. No. All right, something gonna die. They sack the Beast Caller and put the counters on Halana and Elena. That would be a bold move, but they don't. There's a cut down, but it might not be enough next turn. Let's take the go. Defense or offense? If we chump the Beast Caller, they're probably gonna play another good four drop. They're probably going to play another very good four drop. But if we go offensive here, they're not going to block either one and they go to nine. Then they go to seven. Then they potentially go to three. And if we get one more damage and they die, let's try to put them on the defensive. This is a bold play, but it could be very rewarding. We're giving them a turn to play whatever they want with Halana and Elena and attack for a ton. But we're at 20 and we're saying we can take it. Adaptive. Up to six. Up to eight. Crunch. Down to 12 we go. Two blockers. Three mana open. Interesting call on the Evoke Despair here. Also with three mana open. It's difficult. Let's see what they... Ch I, I think we go for double removal. If they give up the Adaptive, I think we're going to win. The thing is, what they should do is give up the Beast Caller and put a bunch of counters on something else, right? That's another reason to do this, because if they put all the counters on the Halana and Elena, it could be very dangerous. They give up the Adaptive. The throat. Scoop them up. Not only that, they had all pain lands left. So even if they have the Kami Flare there, they're, they're still very dead. On the play, plenty of good reasons to keep the hand. You love to see it. Skrelv. Okay. Looks like all tapped land specials, so we're going to cut down the Skrelv. I'm going to wait till their turn. They might play something that I want to kill more. Probably not. Hmm, they might have second Skrelv. Hmm. All right, let them attack. That way they have to play it in the future. 
Unfortunately, Rafine is a card. And I have a feeling we're about to meet the Demon Sphinx. Nice. If I play the Shieldred first, the next turn they have to take two from their connive, but it, the connive might grow it out of range of the cutdown. So this is not how I wanted to use my turn, but I think it's right. Rafine's just so good. Nice. Opponents got the cards, man. They got the cards. Invoke despair, please. Fail. No attacky, no blocky. That should be enough of a distraction. Let's bounce this so we can start getting more blood. Let's make drone. Radadrobic. Gross. Okay. Now what? Set up the Harvester for the future. We attack. It's an easy block for them, so that's not happening. I'll handle this one. Get you down. Get you down. Hope they can't solve our Sheldred. Never didn't have it. It's going to be one of those games. Nasty. See, aren't we glad we made the other blood token? Not a very good Kaido here at all. Maybe I should just turn it into something else. <laughs> Not good either. Getting warmer, but we're down to nine. This has not gone well. Yeah, it had to end somewhere. They keep the owl though. The bug re the bug continues, guys. If your opponent controls a Shieldred, you will never, ever draw away to kill it. Come at me, bro. Interesting. Weird attack by the opponent. I mean, I don't know why they want to do this, and it does give me more life. <sighs> I mean, I guess I should try to draw a card, right? But what's the card gonna do? Nothing, right? Yeah, it's over. I'll die invoking this despair. It's fine. It's fine. What do you know? It was close. Uh, 
Ah, uh, we lose to the Sheldred that doesn't die. Classic magic. Seems like a good hand. We get to cut something down, then we get to bust banks. Should be all kinds of fun. Don't think there's anything I'll need to cut down on turn one. Soldiers. Let's let's go. Some good classic just I play my dorks and attack with a magic. There's the Thalia. Sixteen, let's see what they've got for three mana. Might be the sky strike. Nope, they're gonna pass, so it's the make two creatures thingy. Yeah. Get a Kaito. I am. Um, I think we just plus. We have a land heavy hand, and it's a lot of pain lands. <laughs> yeah. Okay, they didn't make two dorks. Let's see what they've got. More recruitment officers. Do you think they're holding up Protect the Negotiators? Their hand has to do something. Going for Invoke could be a disaster here. Let's do it. I like disaster movies. Rewarded. Rewarded for the braveries. So if I make a ninja here and they play Brutal Cathar and exile it, they attack Kaido and they kill it. And that's sad. Yes, attack my planeswalker. Let my life total stay happy. What is going on with their deck right now? I don't know what's happening. They're having a shuffler is fine moment, I guess. Mm, sure. Seems good. I'm not attacking into this. This looks like some wandering emperor nonsense, and I'm not having it. Okay. The reinforcements have finally arrived. There's the Cathar. The world is not stunned. Take the Harvester. Make a 4-4. Four, four. I'm guessing they have more Cathars. Yeah, they kept this hand for something. It looks like Cathar is that something. So now I just have to find ways to kill them. Oh my goodness. They hate Kaito. <laughs> We have a planeswalker hater. You yeah. Card. Back to back That's removal seems good. Sure. Come at me. Ah, the veteran. Yes, yes. Eh? You don't have enough for that beachhead, do you? Not yet. Maybe next turn your attack will be better. We have to be careful about killing the veteran, though, because then they can use their five mana to activate it and put counters on the creatures. So we want to put that off if we can. The veteran does need to die, though. It definitely represents the most power and toughness on the board. They are in a pickle. How much do they hate Kaito? 
You know they don't want to trade those brutal cathars just to get rid of Kaito. What they don't know is that they're already dead. But don't tell them. Then we miss out on them absolutely grinding their brain to dust for nothing. I bet they opened like one of those AI playground things and typed in what to do in the situation. And they're furiously typing all of the cards on the battlefield and all of the cards in the graveyards and all the cards they think are in the hands and they didn't get it in in time. And the uh, message comes back from the AI and all it says, you're boned. Hand does things if Fable resolves. Fable will resolve, right guys? Uh oh, island? Maybe not. Still gotta try. Look at those lands. Storm Chaser Drake. Protected, huh? Fable it up. Let's go. That sucks. We needed that. Didn't expect them to be just so high on removal. <laughs> AKA having one. Anytime. They thought really hard about that entire sequence, like incredibly hard. More fable. to turn all these lands into useful cards. What does that do? Plus one, plus three. What? It gains flying and toxic one until end of turn. Okay. Is the toxic one permanent? No, it can't be. Okay, they're going to march a burgeoning life for another drake. They exiled a safekeeping. They have two drakes. yippee ki -yay. That's a draw two. But it was an expensive draw two. Do you think they spell pierce? We're going to find out. Kiki Reflecty. Let's be honest. None of us actually want to ban this deck based on power reasons. It's not winning as much as I think people believed it would. We want to ban it because for some reason it takes our opponents a million years to play these turns. They found it. It's my end step. You can do something if you want to. Would you like to do something? Fable go boing. Scry to the top. Rot priest go burr. Drake, go attacky. Wow, more lands. 
It must be my birthday. Seriously, this is like the bloodiest draw I think I've seen in a minute. Especially considering uh, that we've double fabled our lands away. You gonna do something to kill this? No, no, okay. Derp, derp, da derp. Derp, derp, da derp. Uh huh. Our first poison counter. That was two points. So they've now burned two fading hopes on our fables. That could have been four four poison counters. They bounce their own stuff. Six if they find an ivy. There's a corpse appraiser. Do we need that more than a fable? Now we have an interesting fable choice versus corpse appraiser choice, and I think it's still fable. They only have one card. It better be amazing. They found the Ivy. If their last card is a spell though, it's still not, like they haven't won yet. And they're at eight. Imagine if these lands turn into cheap cards. Okay. Well, we gotta be careful with that go for the throat. We don't wanna wreck ourselves. They're at eight. If they go to four, we can play Shieldred. Can we play Kaito and kill our own drone? We're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope. One mana short. One mana short, huh? I guess we could take a draw to cut down. is my opponent i'm not impressed <laughs> love it voice lines of the lords right there man it's close if they target their own drake though and draw with the sheltered out they could die Good feeling about this. We should be out of fading hope. <sighs> Playing around like some weird sequence of giant growthy stuff. But Kaido is an ability. I don't need to target your stuff with spells to keep them from hurting me. There's the stand. There's the copy. Come on, target your Drake. Okay. They go to two. Ivy coming in hot. We go to four. Are we done here? Got him. Just wait him out. Eventually they'll die.